Hiyo, Cryo here. Welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. And we're just in here in my observatory. I made a couple of additions to my base. There's Seamus. Hello, Seamus. Yeah, now he gets real close to me. Oh, yeah, his tail just kind of went in there. Oh, yeah, this observatory does a lot better of a job than the large room, but, you know, I have it now. That's all that matters. So, besides the observatory, I do not want to get glitched through there. That would not be good. That would be Leviathan food. Uh, I also have a couple of data entries from when I built this coffee machine and this jukebox. Let's take a listen to those. Ah, ah, the sweet scent of dirty bean water. That's for the coffee machine, obviously. The jukebox lets you listen to music in your base. No one said survival couldn't be funky. That is true, very true. Isn't that right, Seamus? Yeah, you like to be funky. You're a funky leviathan. Anyways, I also made four thermoses to fill with coffee. I've never used these before, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, it's empty. Okay, what do I do about that? Oh, I need to put thermoses in there. Aha! I've solved the case. And we also set up a couple of jukebox speakers throughout the base, which is basically just an extension so you can hear the... Oh, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Plus 50 body heat, minus 2 H2O. And I believe we have a couple of tracks on here. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. Oh, that's loud. Hang on. Does it help with your research? It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math. Harmonies can be math. You but no music as a whole is there. more than that. We experience you. it on an emotional level. Not move. Not move. Not move. It makes you move differently. Errors. Humans are controlled by music. We make music and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. I can't see what else we have, but... Deep blue. Oh, the diving in too deep one. Let's see that one. Hello again, Seamus. Came, uh, came to investigate the music? I don't blame you. Alright, so we can't hear it from there, but I'm going to show you the... what do you call it? The speakers. The speakers in action. So I have a speaker set up here. Yeah, and I can hear a surround sound, baby. I guess I need more speakers than that. I wasn't sure what the range was. Alright, anyways. That is besides the point. And let me fold my Subnautica document. So I still need to craft the perimeter defense module. And I am not entirely sure how to do that. Oh, we can't actually make the snow box yet. Apparently. But I will bring with the ingredients for that. Uh, just so we can craft it. Because we're going to be going on land and probably staying up there for a while. So I'm just going to bring with a whole bunch of stuff. I'll bring with my storage and fabricator units for my sea truck. And a whole bunch of materials. And I can indeed build bases on land. So I might build like a small outpost on land just to have a place to crash when I go up there. Okay, here we go. Sea truck perimeter defense. Power cell, polyaniline, 
two rubies. Okay, well, the rubies and computer chip aren't that big of an issue. At least I hope they wouldn't be. Okay, polyaniline. Triploric acid. And I think we have some spare power cells. Somewhere. Anemone 3 got an anemone 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 anemone. One salt deposit, which we have quite a bit of that now. And we need one gold, or actually a couple of gold. Copper wire. Oh, we already have a computer chip built. That's very helpful then. And now we head to the modification station, although we probably could have built this anywhere. Or wait, I mean, sorry. Vehicle upgrade thing. Thing we do. And there we have it. Perimeter defense upgrade has been obtained. So slap that in there. And there's still another extra slot here. I wonder what other things I could create for the sea truck. Because, you know, we have an empty space, may as well fill it with something. Uh, afterburner, horsepower, I don't think those can stack at all. So I guess, yeah, the afterburner, um, could be useful. We don't have two lithium though, so I need to go get another one of those. So here's what I'll do. I will go uh, get the materials to create create the afterburner gathered. Then I'll also get some of the other things set up for my journey to land. And actually probably next time I see you will be when I'm either on my way to the land or pretty much on land. I'm not completely ready to go back up to the base yet. Uh, just want to note a couple of things before I did. Arctic Grey White. <laughs> okay, he was just chilling outside the base or, or the uh, containment unit for a second there. So, the egg did hatch. It was indeed a rock puncher, which is what the species is called. Okay, it's like a little baby. He, he was smaller, I guess he grew. Uh, I also discovered another fun thing, and also I set up another speaker by our door. So the fevered pepper and Preston's plant go hand in hand. If you knife Preston's plant, you get a leafy uh, substance. Uh, Preston's plant leaf. And you can get up to nine per plant. So I'm going to plant all eight of these, and then eight fevered peppers. Or wait. Or I guess four. Yeah, four fevered peppers. But yeah, I'm going to plant those, and um, it's going to be great. Because... And make a spicy fruit salad when you combine the favorite pepper and press this plant leaf. Which is literally the best food in the game. And one more. And then I'll just bring with the rest of these to, um... Sorry, let me out. Uh, but yeah, so it gives 100 body heat, 85 food, and 30 water. That is insanely good, and it doesn't go bad. It's the only food source I need. At all. Or it, it's amazing. It's amazing. And it only takes up one space each. Well, like, wow. It's... Yes, why have I not discovered this sooner? 
I'm 100% taking those with me. Alright, I suppose I could also show this before I had to land. This is the snow fox container. This is all I'm going to need to make the snow fox, the hover pad that you craft the snow fox at and charge it at, and there's also two, uh, two modules that can be found on land. Uh, I didn't specifically go looking for how to craft the modules. The modules just kind of showed up when I was looking at like the snow fox and how to craft it or where to craft it, where to find fragments at. Uh, so yeah, um, there are only two modules, a jumping module and another module which I will not mention until we find it or whatever it's related to because it's kind of a spoiler warning for you guys. But I've already kind of been spoiled about this thing uh, before I played the game, unfortunately. So it won't have like a super surprise factor for me. But I want to keep the surprise in store for you. And yeah, so the only thing I have left to do here is uh, grab some base building materials. Here's a fun fact, you don't need hull reinforcements for land bases because there is no immense pressure on land, really. Unless you build up really high, but you can't really in this game. So... Yeah. Uh, so I don't have to worry about building hull reinforcements, I can just build whatever I want. So with any luck, I'll see you near or on land again. Hey, we're on our way to the to the place that we call home, although it's not really. Hey, Crypto. And I just noticed there's a random event garden just chilling up here. It's a juvenile, so it's a different scan. I didn't know that they existed here. Hello, Crypto. Hey. You want to tussle? Here, let's fight. You and me. Mano a mano. The question is, can I... Don't think about it. Can I enter the juvenile? I don't think so. I think because yeah, it's a it's a baby. I cannot enter the baby. But I have a fancy new afterburner. Actually, let me show you show you how that works. Just select it with the number pad of three, and then I go zoom zoom. Although it does take up a little bit more energy when I do that. It's mostly for just running away from things like Leviathans. And also here's the perimeter defense in action. Same as it was in the first game. Hello, I Jelly, I remember you. You know, weird. You look like a like Hollow an enemy from in iceberg interior detected. Hollow chamber? Ha what? what in this one? Maybe? I'm sorry, what do you mean a hollow chamber? I'm intrigued. Does that mean I can enter one of these icebergs? But the question is, would the entrance be from the top, from the surface level, or from the aquatic level? Oh, I think from the bottom maybe. Okay, well let's let's hop on out here and see what the situation is in here. This looks fancy. And is that an air hole up here? Laser cut. Do I have my laser cutter? I did. For some reason I brought with my laser cutter, because I wasn't sure what I was going to need at all. I'm glad I came over prepared. What in the world? What? Huh? Alright, what's, in, what's inside of an iceberg that could be so important? Okay, there we go. Oh! Wait, on, how do I, can I just launch myself out? There we go. Just an ion cube. Cool. 
Why is there an ion cube in here? Inside of an iceberg? Okay. Uh, also some diamonds. And some gold. And I'm out of inventory space. Good. The Juvenile Event Garden. Roughly 20 meters long, the Juvenile Event Garden represents the immature life stage of the fully grown, established Event Garden. This gentle giant appears to swim in aimless, looping circles around mature Event Gardens. While their swimming can seem directionless at first glance, the young Event Garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor and mature. The bell of the Juvenile Event Garden remains sealed until it anchors over a vent. Ah, that makes sense. Once anchored, the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. Docile, not a threat. That we know of. Yeah, no, they're not a threat. Okay, cool. It is pitch black. No, thank you. I do not like this. Sam, I am. Oh, I can't see anything. Why? We're only 80 meters down. Oh, I guess I'm kind of... Well, it's probably nighttime. Alright, yeah, let's head over to Phi Robotics. These are large glacier... Glacial structure things. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, this is where we entered from last time. And we'll bring the... Actually, I don't know how we're supposed to make our base or where we're going to make our base yet. So we're going to have to make a couple tri trips back here to the sea truck. So I'll try to park it as close inland as I can. What is this? Oh, okay, well, this would actually probably be a good, pretty good spot then to park. I have plenty of stuff on me, but I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to use at the moment. Well, for now, let's just get a a single large room down. That's going to be the majority of our base. Nice PDA. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Back in my day. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. Okay, so I need to find a good place to set up shop. Um, I feel like on the edge of here, not exactly on the ice. But yeah, there is a potentially scary creature lurking about on land. Because Leviathans, they like to stick in the water and stuff. So obviously they're not going to be squirming on land for us. But there is something else yet to be seen. That titanium just looks like caviar. That's kind of weird. Right, uh, but we're going to need a good amount of space to start building, and also I need heat. Heat, please. Heat, please. Okay, so let's try... Or can we build it on this? Oh, we can, but how are we supposed to get up to it, though? Oh, this should be interesting. Oh, gosh. Uh, hit. And let's rotate it. 
Perhaps maybe we do this. And hopefully there's a staircase or something. Um, oh yeah, there we go. The hatch does indeed come with a nice little staircase. Well, look at that. Look at us. Let me in. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Well, it's a good thing I don't need oxygen production then. We do kind of want lights though. Which is why well, I'm opting for the bioreactor at the moment. It's mostly just because I don't have any lead left over. Like zero. Zero zippo. Nothing. Not a single piece of lead. I'll get warmed up. Yeah, here's the spy pingling area I was talking about. Or that we visited before. So let's get this little guy. In... Okay, then we just need a remote control. I just have to make sure that the steam vent's going to open up enough times where I'm not going to freeze to death while I'm piloting, piloting the penguin. I wonder how far away I could control the... Oh yeah, I think I should be fine. Okay. Here we go. Alright. This is pretty fancy. Lots of quartz in here. Don't really need that much quartz, though. And is that it? Just a lot of quartz. Okay, it's probably like just a tutorial. Hey, look, it's me. Hello, me. Oh, my feet are gone. Where are my feet? They've dis they've disappeared. Oh, I can self-destruct it? Why would I want to self-destruct a pingling? It would be so sad. Very sad. Oh, that's right. I think by the glacial bay that we were at. Wasn't there like a bridge or something? That was incomplete. Probably was. I'm not sure how to complete it. Alright, for now, let's just head inside the Robox Lab again. There may have been something that we missed. There's definitely something over there. Though, for the most part, we should have gotten, like, everything. Okay, what's that circling? Yeah, there's the bridge I was talking about in that upper right corner there that goes over uh, blue ice, which looks cool. I don't know what lurks beneath or on the ice, like snow stalkers perhaps? I have a single flare, a single flare to ward off any sea stalkers, or sorry, snow stalkers. Gotta get that in my mind. They're different creatures. Yeah, here's Sam's room, You're right in here. Alright, I don't think there's anything actually in the base that we missed. But outside of the base, now there's another question. We don't have the cold suit yet. And supposedly, because I was looking up the snow stalker for stuff. I've been looking up more stuff than I probably should be. But you can get snow stalker... Oh, perfect. Snow fox fragrant. Well now we can make a snow fox and probably move faster on land, which is good. Ouch. Actually, oh, that did like one one hit point of damage. I feel like all of our snow fox stuff is back at our 
snow plow. Iodine useful for chemical applications. Okay. Uh oh. Thermos. Consume. That worked kind of ish. Whew. Alright, well, they went Dangerous from. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Great. Yeah, I went from daytime to nighttime real quick. I went inside the building, built a couple things, went out, boom, nighttime. Also, dangerous weather. Not sure how that affects me, per se. Uh, so I'm going to build the hover pad real quick here. I'll just kind of build it here, I guess. Boom. And let's go ahead and construct the snow box. Now we can unpin both of those. Here we go. Hypothermia imminent. Yes, oh, right. Go, go, go. Let me in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, that was close. So I guess the dangerous weather just drops your heat more. I definitely need that cold suit. I need to know where to get the... where to find snow stalkers, even. Okay, board snow fox. Cool, here we go. Oh. Like riding a bike. Sure. Wait, does this produce heat? Oh, it does, cool. Yeah, so like the heat from the bike keeps me warm, which is... No, stop it! How do I ride this thing? The turning radius is... something. Ooh, boy. That's a little bit... Oh, It's gonna take some getting used to. Okay, but I, I found out where I need to go. Let me just not do that. And it looks like the thing on the right is my sound level or speed or something like that. So it's something to keep my eye on. Ooh, this is rough. Ooh, whoa, doggy. I don't know what's going on. We're gonna head back to my uh, snowplow, actually. Wait, can we even name this thing? Probably, there's probably a way to do that at the hover pad, I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, the bridge is... I don't can't really see it from here. Or can you? Is that it? It might be... Oh yeah, that, this is it. Uh, yeah, here's the bridge. Now we're... There is something of significance beyond this bridge. Okay. It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? Hydraulic fluid. So. Yes. Check fluid levels, okay. So you need like four things of hydraulic fluid or... I don't even know how to... Oh, I don't want to go off the edge. No, no thank you. Alright, so how do we go about creating said hydraulic fluid? I'm hoping it gave me a blueprint. Or something. Is that just something I need to find? Oh, no, I just need to, I need to scan the ruptured hydraulic fluid then. Couldn't see that with all the snowy snoo going on. Now we just need to find which of these things is not like the other. This is. Okay, how many do we just need one? Or multiple? I'll I'll look it up on the wiki to see if I need multiple of these. Uh, but yeah, we need creep vine seed clusters and gel sacks. Great, which we have those back at our base. Uh <laughs> Ah, uh, boy. Fun, fun, fun. I'll make my way back to my base. I will... 
I mean, I already know where to get both the Gel Saxon and Creefine Sea Clusters from. So I'll report back and hopefully I'll have everything that I need when I do. Well, I finally made my way back to my base. Um, <laughs> it, I'll be honest, I couldn't find my way back to my base uh, through the lily pad zone. So I took a really roundabout way. Oh, my shadow's very large. That's neat. Anyways, so I took a really long roundabout way, found a new entrance through the deep purple vents, because I was just looking for gel sacks, and I'm like, well, they can be found in the deep purple vents. And I found a my way into the crystal caverns, went right past Seamus without him noticing me somehow. And yeah, actually, hold on, let me hop back in my snow fox to stay, to stay warm. Do a little bit of a dance. Do 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 do. What's down there? Oh yeah, that's the. Is that water? I think that's water. Anywho. Oh right, we didn't actually craft the, the thing. Hydraulic container. Yeah, the hydraulic fluid container looks a lot like the scream canister from Monsters Inc. Like, right, I, I can't be the only one that thinks that. Just the color scheme and the canister design. Very, very similar. Uh, but yeah, this is probably going to be the last thing that I do on this episode. And I'll also probably... Well, before I repair the bridge, I'm going to see if I can change the design on my snow box. And name it. I would imagine I can. Do a sick jump. Yeah. Oh, I, I damaged it quite a bit there. Good thing I have my repair tool. Here we go. Okay, hover bike name. Okay, so we had the SS Snowflake, SS Snowman, SS Snowplow, SS Snow. Something around there. Maybe this can be like the. Okay, let's see here. So, Snowmobile... Hmm. I'll have to think about the name. For a little bit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Well, while we're in here, let's go ahead and craft the hydraulic fluid. And are these fully grown? I think that they are. So we can, at the very least, craft ourselves a salad for on the go. And how are you doing? Still looks like it's doing okay. And you know what? As long as we have these going okay, let's make three more salads. And then I'll grab four of these rest and delight fruit. Pretty difficult to grab, I must say. And carefully. Like, they're there, but I cannot crouch. There we go. And let's turn the rest of these into salads. Yeah, I should probably be thinking of a name while I'm doing this. Okay, SS Snow... So it kind of glides over the snow. It's like a dirt bike, but not. SS Dirty Snow... No. Okay, I think I have a name. Not sure if it's gonna fit. I think it, it should. Uh, SS Snow... Shovel. So we have the Snow Plow, which is our sea truck, and this is like the little, little tiny version of it. Which is a Snow Shovel. Pretty good, huh? It also kind of looks like the upper things in front. I guess could kind of be snow shovels, but not really. Well, the snow plow doesn't actually plow anything either. I just named it that because it's a truck. I keep on forgetting warmth. I cannot wait until I get the cold suit. I just don't know where to get the snow stalker fur from. Probably over the bridge, if I were to guess. Okay, and then colors. Gotta get that nice kind of navy-ish blue color. Ok, 
Okay, and then interior. Uh, hang on. Oh, that's what it's changing. Uh, let's just... Could you like a white interior? Yeah, this cold is real inconvenient for designing your snow vehicles. And also you just have to keep on going back in and back out, and the animation takes a little bit. Okay, well, we can at least look at this stripe. Stripe 1, it's a pretty good color. And the name, I have to wait for it to turn around. Yeah, we'll do that. Interior, let's make it a cyan and there we go, okay. So I says snow shovel, yeah, it looks pretty good. And off we go. Oh right, yeah, the hover pad charges it, so actually we don't have to worry about making another power cell. Probably. Question mark. Uh, we can eat one of our salads. Which is yum yum oh so good. And I've somewhat gotten the hang of maneuvering with this thing. Not entirely yet. Because obviously it's a new vehicle, I just made it this episode. We're on our way. I think I went the wrong way. I may have done this, so... Unless I, actually, no, I think this just loops back around to the same spot that I'm going. Yes, it does. Nice, so let's go repair that bridge to end off the episode, shall we? To do. I keep on forgetting I have that speed boost, but it also wastes energy, so like maybe don't do that unless I'm running away from something, question mark, yes. Very good. And let's pop in our thing, necessary repairs is the achievement I got. You can't see that on your end it looks like, but I got it. And extend. Why would I need to retract it? Is something going to chase me? I'm not sure, but we'll probably find that out on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remember to stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next video.